If you are a violin student, I want you to try something. Put your violin and bow down and just mime the motion of using the bow. If you're a teacher, ask your students this week to mime using the bow. And I think you'll be very interested in what the results are. I recently led a group class of 10 pretty experienced students and I said, hey, let's mime using the bow. All 10 of those students did this, with the wrist facing nearly up to the ceiling. And this is wrong. Make a ring with your second finger and thumb. The thumb can touch the second finger at the first joint in the finger. Face your wrist to your nose, and let's bring the wrist to the nose and make a V shape. Let's push away the wrist from the nose and make a V shape. Wrist to nose, wrist away from nose. And this is the bowing motion that all professional violinists use. So, let's take this exercise one step further. We've got our ring with our second finger and thumb, our wrist is facing our nose, and let's stir a pot of soup counterclockwise. Let's groom ourselves like a cat, moving clockwise. If you watch a lot of great violin players, they don't move the bow in a completely straight line from wrist to nose, but they use this figure eight pattern while they're using the bow. It's very round on the edges. The bow changes have very round orbits. So a lot of teachers still teach this as a beginning bow hold, and that's absolutely nonsensical because look, the wrist is facing up towards the ceiling, and we gain a completely false impression of how the bow works on the violin. Right, left, right, left. That's just not how it works. Wrist to nose, wrist away. 